All right, welcome back to Out of the Blue. I'm Tom Tozer, Director of News and Media Relations here at MTSU, and I'm sitting in the seat uh, usually occupied by Dr. Bob Pondillo, who is a guest today. So Bob's <laughs> in the other hot seat uh, across the table from me. Uh, and Bob is, uh, uh, as you know, professor in the Electronic Media Communication Department and uh, award-winning writer, uh, television uh, uh, producer, <laughs> Filmmaker, all, should I go on? Please go on. No, Please no, go no, on. That's yes, enough. indeed. Thank you. Uh, yes. Welcome, uh, Bob. And, Good to be and here. Uh, Thanks, uh, with Bob is uh, Dr. Rami Shapiro. And uh, Rami, welcome. And Rami Thank is an you. adjunct professor of religion here at MTSU, writer, author, lecturer. Um, what uh, anything you want me to add more well, we'll just go longer town. than you did these <laughs> folks are just good guys <laughs> and I'm happy to be here to talk with them about the writer's loft the writer's loft is a great program here at MTSU we're going to talk about that uh, Rami Shapiro is uh, director of the uh, program and, and Bob is one of the faculty members among mm -hmm. many others so let's begin and then maybe we'll have a little time to talk about the the quality and status of writing in general these days but uh, mm -hmm. uh, Rami tell us about the Writer's Loft, what is it? No, the Writer's Loft is a unique program in North America. There's only one other program like it. It's a non-degree studio program for people who are looking to improve their writing, but even more actually complete projects and get them out into the marketplace. It's a trimester program, so it's 12 months total. You don't have to take them in a row, but when you complete 12 months of study at the Writer's Loft, MTSU does give you a certificate of, in creative writing. Not a degree won't do you much good if you're trying to get into to, uh, you know, to a teaching faculty position you know, with that. But it does say that you've completed this. But the real work of the Writer's Loft is that you tell us what you're interested in, what you're trying to produce. We'll match you up with a faculty member who has expertise in that. And then that faculty member's job is to help you improve your writing, but produce. And eventually, and we hope within 12 months, that's my personal ideal, that within that year that you're working on this stuff, you actually finish a project that you can then bring to market. Okay. Yeah. And I think it's important too that, you know, oftentimes creative people, the hardest part about creativity is just parking your butt, sitting down and doing it, you know. And I think if you have somebody on your side encouraging you and, and saying, well, let's see what you got. Let's, let's, you know, hit certain goals and hit certain marks along the, along the 12 month period and see what we come up with. I think that helps. And, uh, yeah. Do you attract people who are generally writers already, but they need honed and sharpened and they want to get published? Do you attract people who are really kind of like, I'd like to be a writer and be a, a better writer? What, what stages of development are these people? Yeah, I, we, we get both. Uh, we've yeah. had someone who's, who has a, um, who sold a manuscript already. They sold the idea, the publisher's waiting for the manuscript, and like Bob said, they just can't get it done. Mm -hmm. So we team them up with someone who will, I mean, sitting by their side, no, really sitting on their butt and, and pushing them to get it done. The university yeah. has specific deadlines we have to meet, but then the, the mentor faculty member has to, you know, really push okay. us. So we get people who are that far along a process, and then we get people who say, you know, I, the, the whole idea of being a writer is, is just attracts me, and how do you do that, and what's the first thing you do? Uh, you know, for some people, the writer's track means getting drunk mostly. <laughs> and that, that's how they see it, you know. And those people but don't usually make it the class, or, right? Yeah, no, no, like no, 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 no. <laughs> those don't are people who never anything. actually get to do it. So these are people who have worked through the romance and are really ready to right. sit down and actually produce stuff. Yeah. But maybe never, have never done it before. Th that's a good point, too, about this romantic notion of a writer, about how, uh, you know, it's going to be something amazing, right? And it, could, it could very well be, but if you don't sit and do it, which is really, I mean, it really is difficult to sit down and do it, look, to look at a, 
a you know blank piece of paper or a, a screen with nothing on it, and you have to come up with something, and make it work. Which you've done occasionally, probably, right? Looked at well, I'd like to paper. think I have. Yeah, some yeah. some have said so. Sure. But it's still, you know, I'm, I'm I never feel like I've uh, completely got it right yet, but. Uh, yeah. Like to help when out. you look at that blank screen, I, mean, I work on computer primarily. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I've published 24 books. So I've looked at lots of blank screens. <laughs> but the next one is always just as blank as the first one. It's, right. I, I trust the process more, but it doesn't make it any easier. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's what I think if we, if we get the student to do one thing, it's to trust the process. And just mm -hmm. you know, write garbage if that's what it is. Rewriting is where you make it better. So just come, get over the fact that you're not Hemingway mm -hmm. you know, and just start <laughs> typing. And then we'll make you into, uh, you know, what, a faux Hemingway well, yeah, who, 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 Whoever well, you are. We'll just give you a lot of cats, if not. <laughs> sure, there you go. So but that's like, true. Yeah. You, do, you do have to sit and, and start writing. And that means maybe three or four pages are going to be pretty garbagey. But the fourth page will be, that's the idea. Mm -hmm. There's where we start. Mm -hmm. But you've got to get going. It's taking a so. block of stone and sculpting away the stuff that doesn't belong yeah, right. so you finally have yeah, what, exactly. you, what you want. And what you, how does a person get involved in the writer's loft? Well, they go on the w website. You can go through MTSU and then slash the loft. Um, you know, go to the formal MTSU website. We've also made it even easier. Just go to thewritersloft at mtsu.com. <laughs> That's good. Spell the whole thing That's out. Right. Thewritersloft at mtsu.com. Simplicity. And yeah. that will take you through the uh, EDU, you know, of the university itself. And then you can, you can look over the website, see how it functions. You register. You send us some sample writing, so, and it comes to me so that I can get a sense of what you want to do. Then we talk on the phone. I mean, that's the key, is I have to get a sense that you're serious and a sense of what you want to do, and then see if we have faculty to do it. Now, we have, we're part of the English department, so we have the entire English faculty to work with here, as well as the rest of the faculty at the university. So we brought you know, Bob in from outside the English department for those who are working on screenplays. Uh, so we have a tremendous faculty to choose from. It's just finding that right person that you can you feel comfortable with. Good. Well, I'm getting the winded up signal from, from uh, <laughs> over there. So yeah. we got to do that. Thank you very much, Ron My Shapiro, Thank Bob Pondiddle. Thanks Thank very you, much. Tom. Good luck with that program. And uh, folks, uh, go to the website and get involved. We'll be right back with more Out of the Blue.